Okay, so to start off with inventory ball, I've already got four eggs. So before we do anything else, we're just going to whip these up until they're nice and fluffy. Okay, so once they've been whipped up, we're going to add in our milk. Next, we're going to add in our thickened cream. Now, just remember with this recipe, I, I recommend that pregnant women don't have this because it does have raw egg in it. So, obviously, raw egg is not the best thing for pregnant women. Now, next, we're going to put in our sugar. Then our ground nutmeg. Then our vanilla extract. Then just a pinch of allspice. And we're just going to whisk this up until it starts to thicken up, just slightly. And just before serving, we're just going to put some more ground nutmeg just on top. Now let's give this a try. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yum, 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 yum. The combination of the egg, the nutmeg, the cream, and the, just the, that's, that's part of my secret recipe, just a touch of allspice really does set this off. And of course, let's not forget that layer of nutmeg on top. I'll tell you what, that tastes simply delish. Okay, so I have a pot on the stove on a medium to high heat. So to that, we're gonna add in half a cup or one stick of butter. And we're just going to let that melt down just for about a minute or so. Okay, so once that's melted down, we're going to add in two cups of sugar. And three quarters of a cup of eggnog. Now, if you can't find eggnog, I'll leave a link down below onto my recipe on how to make your own. Okay, so I've just turned it down to a medium heat. And what we're going to do is bring it up to a boil. And we're going to let it boil away until it reaches about 110 degrees Celsius or about 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So I highly recommend a candy thermometer for this. They're very, very cheap. Just Google it and you'll find them no problem. But it's also very important that you continuously stir this, otherwise you're going to scorch the ingredients. Okay, so our mixture's warmed up to the right temperature, so I'm just gonna pour that into a mixing bowl. Now I've got 350 grams of white chocolate melts here. So we're gonna place these in. And using a hand mixer or a stem mixer, we're going to beat them through until the chocolate is melted. And while it's mixing through, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And next, about a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Okay, now that that's all mixed through, our last ingredient is going to be some marshmallow fluff. It's also called marshmallow cream. So we're just going to get that right out of the jar and just place it into the bowl. Now, if you can't find this marshmallow fluff or marshmallow cream anywhere, again, check for the link down below on my video on how to make your own. And again, we're going to mix that through until it's well combined. Okay, finally I have a baking tray here and I've just lined it with some non-stick baking paper. So all we have to do is just pour our mixture into that. Okay, so I'm just going to simply place this into the fridge for a few hours to completely set. Okay, so I've just taken our fudge out of the fridge and it is nicely set. So now we just have to take it out. So now all that's left is just to cut it up into our desired shapes. And there we have it, our eggnog fudge. Now as fudges go, it is a very easy one to make. Now this is a soft fudge, so Make sure you keep it in the fridge until it's ready to serve. So let's see what it's like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is nice. It's a very smooth and creamy texture. And the taste is really fantastic. You have that lovely eggnog taste mixed in with a touch of cinnamon. I can tell you what, this eggnog Christmas fudge tastes simply delish. Okay, so we're going to start this recipe off by creaming our sugars. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our softened butter. That's three quarters of a cup worth, but don't forget, I'll leave the, a list of ingredients in the description below. 
So to that we're going to add in one cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. Now using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're going to beat this through until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so now that that's nice and creamy, to that we're going to add in two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three quarters of a cup of eggnog. Now if you can't find eggnog, I'll leave a link in the description to my Christmas playlist where you'll find my recipe. Okay, so we're just going to quickly mix this through until it's well combined. Okay, so now that's combined, we're going to add a pinch of salt. And that'll just help enhance the flavor. Then half a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarb soda, and then about three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now if you don't have a grinder, just use the pre-ground stuff that you buy from the shops. And again, we're just going to mix that through. Okay, now that it's all mixed, we're going to add in three cups of pre-sifted plain flour. And of course, we're going to mix that through until it's well combined. Okay, so finally I have a baking sheet here and I've just lined it with some non-stick baking paper. So with that mix, we're just going to grab about a tablespoon at a time and we're just going to place it on our baking sheet. Okay, so now we're just going to simply place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes just until they're lightly browned. Okay, so I've just taken the cookies out of the oven and they're cooling down. So while they're cooling down, we're going to make the icing. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our icing sugar or powdered sugar. Then we're going to pour in our eggnog. And don't forget the ingredients are in the description. And then our ground nutmeg. And we're just going to mix that through until it comes up to a nice thick paste. Okay, so our cookies are out of the fridge and see how it's just slightly brown on the outside. That's when you take them out of the oven. So all we have to do now is just put on our lovely icing okay so once you put the icing on the cookies we're going to place this in the fridge just to give that icing a chance to set and there we have it our eggnog cookies so it's an incredibly simple cookie recipe to make but it's sure going to be one tasty one too yum 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 it's a nice soft cookie I wouldn't say moist, it's a little bit on the dry side, but that's all counteracted with that lovely, lovely eggnog icing on top. So when you add all that eggnog together, these cookies taste simply delish. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the base. Now it's up to you what type of cookies you wanna use. You can use chocolate like I am, or for example, graham crackers, or any type of flavor that you like. Now you can put them into a food processor, but I like to get rid of the pre-Christmas frustrations by using the good old fashioned rolling pin. So just break them up until they're nice and fine. Okay, so then we just put our crushed up cookies into a bowl. And I have a couple of tablespoons of melted butter, so just pour that on and give it a good mix so they're all coated in the butter. Next I have a muffin tray filled with muffin holders. Now I'm using the silicon ones, but you can also use the paper ones. It's completely up to you. So all we have to do is just fill each one up with our cookie mixture. And once they're all full, we're just going to push them down until they're nice and firm. Okay, so with our cookie base is prepared, next we're going to work on the filling. So into a mixing bowl, I'm going to place in 12 ounces or 340 grams of softened cream cheese. And we're going to follow that up with half a cup of sugar. And using a hand or stand mixer, we're going to beat it up until it's nice and creamy. Okay, now that that's all nice and creamy, I'm going to add in half a cup of nutmeg. Now you can choose any nutmeg you like, or wait to the end of the video where I'll leave a link on screen to my recipe on how to make your own. Then one tablespoon of regular flour, followed by one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And simply mix everything through until it's nicely combined. Okay, so all we have to do now is simply fill up each one of our muffin cups. OK, 
Okay, so once done, we're going to place these into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And once they're done, take them out, let them cool down, place them in the fridge for a further two hours to completely set. Okay, so our cheesecakes are out of the fridge after being in there for a few hours. Now I'm just going to garnish them all just with a little bit more nutmeg. And there we have our absolutely simple yet delicious eggnog cheesecakes. They really are an incredibly simple cheesecake recipe to make, which is exactly what you want come Christmas. Because you're rushing around doing so many things, you really don't want to spend all that much time on extra little treats. So this is the perfect little treat or dessert to have for Christmas. And you can make them a few days before, keep them in a sealed container in the fridge, and they will last until Christmas Day. But no matter whether you make them the day before or on Christmas morning, either way, they're going to taste simply delish. Okay, so to start off with, into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in four egg yolks. And to that, our caster sugar or super fine sugar. And we're going to beat this until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, next into a pot on a medium heat, we're going to place in our milk. Then our heavy cream or whipping cream or thickened cream, the different names, same thing. Then we're going to put in one teaspoon of nutmeg and then a pinch of allspice. Okay, and we're just going to stir this occasionally just until it comes up to a boil. Okay, so it's just been brought to a boil, so now we're just going to take this off the heat. Okay, so we have our egg mixture here in the bowl. Now the sugar has been dissolved and it's all whipped up nice and white. So now we're going to grab our mixture from the pot and we're just going to add a little bit in at a time. What this is called is, it's called tempering the eggs. It's basically, you're basically cooking the eggs without the appearance of cooking the eggs. So you won't get like a scrambled egg effect. So just add a little bit at a time. Just so you can get the eggs up to the right temperature. This way you've got the health benefits of the egg being cooked without the risk of any raw eggs. Okay, so once half the mixture's in there, just feel free to pour the rest in. Okay, now that the milk mixture has been successfully combined into the egg mixture, we're just going to add in about half a cup of rum. This is completely optional, of course, but I like a bit of rum in there. And a lot of people like rum in their eggnogs too. You can also use whiskey or bourbon. Yeah, it just comes down to personal taste. Okay, now that the mixture has been completely mixed through, we're just going to pour it into a bowl. And then we're just going to cover it with some clear wrap. Okay, so once done, we're going to place this in the fridge for about a good six hours to completely cool down. Okay, so the mix is now at fridge temperature, which is exactly how we need it. Now there's two ways to do it. I'm personally going to use this ice cream churner. Now you've seen me use the ice cream churner plenty of times. I find it extremely easy and convenient to use it because it just turns out so much better and so much more fluffier. But if you don't want to use an ice cream churner, that's fine. Just put all the ingredients into a bowl, into the freezer, a sealed container. And every hour or so, just give it a good mix with a hand mixer. Just That just stops the ingredients from separating and keeps it nice and fluffy. Okay, and it's done. Now it's like a, right now it's like a soft serve consistency. You can have it like this if you choose to. Or you can stick it into a sealed container for a couple of hours just to harden up the rest of the way. And then it's more like a harder ice cream consistency. Okay, so it's hardened up a bit and it's a lovely ice cream consistency. Now as another optional extra, you can just sprinkle some more nutmeg just on top of the ice cream. Now let's give this a try. Whew. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, you can definitely taste that wrong. It's not an incredibly overpowering rum taste, but it's it's there, trust me. That really was a creamy, a very creamy ice cream with a lovely eggnog taste and a bit more than a hint of the taste of the rum. But I'll tell you what, that, that ice cream tastes simply delish. 
Now this is certainly a very simple but easy pancakes recipe to make because it all goes into one bowl at the same time. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in one and a half cups of self-raising flour or one and a half cups of plain flour with about two tablespoons of baking powder. Then to that, one tablespoon of sugar. Then to enhance the flavor, just a pinch of salt, one egg, a tablespoon of melted butter, and finally one cup of your favorite eggnog. Now if you want to know how to make eggnog, wait to the end of the video where you will see my link on how to make your own at home. And with a handle stand mixer, just simply give it a good mix until everything is well combined and it's lump free. Okay, so I've got a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. Not too high, just a, just slightly over medium. You don't want to overdo the hotcakes or pancakes. So even with a non-stick pan, I'm still going to just give a quick grease with some cooking spray oil and then just pour on the desired size of your pancake. Now I like mine nice and thick and fluffy, but you can also water it down a little bit more with a little bit more eggnog if you like a thinner type of pancake. So we're going to cook this on this side for about two to three minutes. And you know it's ready when it just starts to go slightly dry on the outside and it starts to bubble on top. Okay, so it's just starting to dry up on the outside and you can just see bubbles just starting to form on top. So now we're just simply going to flip it over and cook it on this side for another, say, one to two minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. So once done, just take it off and just continue on until they're all done. And there we have our deliciously fluffy eggnog pancakes. Now I'm just going to top it off with some maple syrup, but it's completely up to you which topping you want to use. You can also use some honey or drizzle on some chocolate. So these are fantastic for breakfast. Honestly, lunch as well. They go great as a treat any time of the day. So you can not only have them on Christmas morning, but with the link on the screen to my video on how to make your own eggnog, you can have them any time of the year. But no matter when you have them, they're still going to taste simply delish. Now we're going to start off with a shot of coffee. Now you can use espresso coffee or instant coffee. Just whatever you have on hand will do just fine. So now into a mug, I'm going to pour in our shot of espresso. And in equal parts, I'm going to add some milk and some fresh eggnog. Now if you can't buy eggnog in your area, check out my link down below on my video on how to make your own at home. And we're just going to top it off with some whipped cream and some nutmeg. Yum yum. And there we have a very simple and easy eggnog latte. I can tell you what, this is actually incredibly delicious. And assuming you're using a good coffee, don't even bother adding any sugar. Because the eggnog alone is already sweet enough. But when you add some lovely nutmeg on top, this eggnog latte, without sugar, tastes simply delish. Now French toast has been a breakfast treat for as long as I can remember. But coming up to Christmas, I'm going to make it extra special with the added flavour of eggnog. Now I'm going to start this off with everyone's favorite Christmas treat and that's some lovely eggnog. Now I've cheated and bought some from the shops, but if you want to make your own eggnog at home, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as in the comment section to my Christmas playlist. And there you'll find my recipe on how to make your own eggnog. And there's actually a couple of different versions there too. So for this recipe, we're going to start off by pouring in one and a half cups of our eggnog into a mixing bowl. Then we're going to follow that up with two eggs. Then one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And finally, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of ground allspice. Now, simply with a whisk, we're just going to whisk it through until the eggs are completely broken up and everything is well combined. Now the next step is just as easy as the first. So I've got a piece of white bread here, so I'm just going to dip that into our eggnog mixture. And we're just going to coat both sides. And I have a fry pan on the heat, on a medium to high heat. And so we just simply place that onto our fry pan. And we're just going to fry this away for about two to three minutes over this high heat. And then we're going to turn it over and do the other side. You basically want that nice golden brown color. 
Okay, so it's been a few minutes, so we're just simply going to, with a spatula, we're just going to flip it over. There we go. So we're just going to leave that there for another couple of minutes, take it off, put it onto a plate, cover it with foil as we make the rest of our eggnog French toast. Now would you look at those delicious eggnog French toast. And honestly, they smell so much better than they look. Now you have that regular French toast smell, but with the added eggnog, honestly, it works perfectly. And as with toast, everyone is different. Some people like it on the light side, some people like it cooked on the dark side. So this is another versatile recipe where you can still customize it to anyone's taste. Now you can have butter on your French toast, that's completely up to you, but personally, I love to add maple syrup. It adds that extra layer of delicious sweetness that just works perfectly. And you don't have to have these just around Christmas time. If you follow my link down below to my Christmas playlist, you can make your own eggnog any time of the year. So you don't have to wait till the end of the year just to have it. And honestly, whether you have this at the end of the year or in the middle of August, either way, this eggnog French toast is going to taste simply delish. Yeah.